So for number 47, um, we are given the graphs of car A and B. And this is a velocity um, as a function of time graph. So um, the way that we interpret it is the, we look at the area beneath the curve in a velocity graph. So if we have, this is velocity times time. If I have, say, this line over here, this is my velocity. And then if I take the area beneath the curve over here, if I'm calculating this area, what I'm really doing is I'm creating a rectangle whose width is equal to um, velocity and whose length is equal to time. So the area is equal to velocity times time, which is equal to distance. So really what we're doing is we're finding um, through the area beneath the curve, we're finding the distance that these cars traveled. So uh, it's asking us which car is ahead after one minute. So after one minute, we're about here. All we have to look is the area beneath the curve for these two cars, which area is bigger. And we can clearly see that the area uh, beneath the curve for A is bigger than the one for B. Um, because the area for A is this whole stuff over here, whereas the area for B is just this section that I'm drawing in blue. So clearly the area for A is bigger and therefore A has uh, A is further. So we're going to write this down. That this is car, car A. Okay, what is the meaning of the area of the shaded region? So the shaded region, um, which is this part, this yellow part here, is the area beneath the curve for A minus the area beneath the curve for B, right? Because if you add these two areas, the yellow area and the blue area, you will get the area beneath the curve for A. So what we can say is, what is the meaning? Well, it is the distance of A minus the distance of B. So it is um, the difference of, of distance between them. So this is the difference of car A, car A's distance and car B's distance. Or in other words, um, how much further car A is from car B. So let me just erase this and you guys can clearly see that um, the shaded area is just um, the area of A minus the area of B. And then it's asking us um, which car is ahead after two minutes. So let's go to two minutes. Um, and we can see that at minute one over here, car B starts going faster than car A. Um, because now there is, after minute one, there's more area beneath the curve uh, for B than for A. However, if we take the same analysis, um, this area in yellow is how much further car A is from car B between minutes zero to one. And then this other area over here, which maybe I'll draw in orange, is how much further car B well, not how much further, but how much more distance car B is covering relative to car A between the minutes one to two. So the question is, how much, uh, which of these areas is bigger? Because when we compare this, we're going to see which car has traveled the most. And we can see that um, the yellow area is bigger than the orange area, but not by much. Um, they should be at the same point very soon. So at minute two, it is... And let's write this down. It is um, car, car A is still ahead. So now they want us to estimate the time at which the cars are again side by side. So what they mean by this is the time where this area uh, will increase such that it is equal to the yellow area. And if we estimate it, um, let's see, maybe it's somewhere around here. Now these areas look to be the same. Uh, somewhere around here, maybe a little bit more even. 
maybe over here, yeah. Now these areas appear to be the same. So if we estimate it, um, this point here is 2.25, which is half of it. So maybe a little less, maybe let's say approximately 2.2. So we can say approximately, at approximately 2.2 minutes and that's where they catch up so all we did really was use the notion of area beneath the curve um, and then kind of compare the difference of the areas between the curves of a relative to b